Miss Dana and Miss Zoe here at the Sensory Path. Today we are going to describe the purpose of it and how to use it. So at KES, it is located in the kindergarten hallway, and at Burr, it's located in the downstairs portable. So the purpose of the sensory mat is to um, allow kids a movement opportunity if maybe they're feeling kind of tired in class, if they're feeling a little wiggly, or even if they're feeling really overwhelmed. Um, so how they would use it is you can either show them this video or bring your whole class down here um, and show them how it is able to use and then they could eventually just go and do it independently. So first, they definitely need to grab some hand sanitizer, come on down, and then they can go through it one time and there's different ways which we're about to show you. Grab some hand sanitizer and then go back to class. The reason the sensory path is so beneficial is it really engages our different senses like our vestibular system with different positions that our head can go. It provides proprioceptive input, that input to our joints, and also other sensory systems like our visual skills. So we're gonna show you how to use it. This is the easiest way to use the sensory path. The directions say to jump on one foot. The sensory mat can also be good for different reading skills, language skills, and math skills. Miss Zoe, can you spell the word cab? Can you crawl to the H and come up with an animal with H? Hyena. Can you jump on one? <laughs> What's one plus two? Three. Good. Jump to it. <laughs> Miss Zoe, I spy a log. Can you find a log and jump to it? Great job. All right, let's end with the wall sit. Okay. <laughs>